So we've been doing a fair bit of SSD speed testing and we're not, we're not finishing. Nope. But today I actually had the guys or the folks, I don't know if it's a guy, I don't know, from Orico, Orico, these guys right here, Orico, send us, so they sent this drive right here to us, which is fantastic. And they're like, we saw that you've been testing some drives out. So we'd like to send you ours. And I'm like, okay. So this is the Orico 500G Mini Aluminum Portable External Solid State Drive. Read writes up to a thousand megabits per second. So this is big, this is a big one. Ultra slim high speed USB 3.1 Gen 2 USB-C. So for those that have watched some of my previous speed tests and unboxing reviews of some of the solid states that I've picked up recently. A few things. One of the things was that I was always complaining a little bit like, oh, I wish these were USB-C because a lot of them weren't, especially the last A-Data one that I got. And the fastest of those drives was only coming in around 500 megabytes per second. So this one up to a thousand. It actually says here in the box, 940. So we'll see which is more accurate, 940 or 1000. But we're gonna take a look at this drive right here from Orico, do a speed test, and actually show you the difference in size compared to some of the other solid states out there. Let's do that right now. Okay guys, so this this is this is the little box, Orico. Now this drive comes in, as you can see here, four different colors. You got a red, you got this blue, I do like the blue as well, uh, black and white. Uh, $149 Canadian right now with a $10 coupon. Now that's time of shooting, that can change and fluctuate. And again, if you guys are somewhere else on the planet, your prices will be a little different as well. But I'll make sure to put links down below for you guys so that you can uh, take a look to see what you think after we do the speed test, because that's that's kind of important. But here's the box, Oracle Portable SSD. Again, 940 megabits per second, it says on the box, versus the thousand it says on Amazon. Uh, this is their 500 gigabyte drive. This is the model IV300, or maybe it's 4300, I'm not too sure. But the big one for me, and this is what's exciting, USB 3.1 Type-C, I do like that. And I'm curious to see if the cable that they give you is Type-C to Type-C or Type-C to Type-A. Uh, on the back, we have some extra information. Uh, it's a 3D NAND flash, which is kind of what's in all of them, compatible with Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and high quality. That's, that's important. All right, my guess is, not going to be overly exciting of an unboxing because it's it's a hard drive and that's that's kind of what it is so we get a little package with the drive that drive is so small it's so tiny oh they give you two cables oh so fantastic and and a little manual so manual is going over here and that's and that's about it two cables though i've talked about this in the past how i wish that companies were sending multiple cables so you get a USB-C to USB-C. So that's perfect for my, my MacBook. And for those of you that aren't running a machine like a MacBook, USB-A to USB-C. Well done, Orico. You guys, that's, that's fantastic. I love that. Now, this is the drive. So I wanna show you this. I'm gonna move these cables over here. Look, look for one. Look how small this is. You guys can see that. That thing's tiny. It's so small. And is that, that looks like it's like a, what is that, a Kensington lock? Is that what it's called? That you can lock that maybe? Oh, that's super cool. I actually like the red, it's nice. There's that USB-C, little LED light there probably for activity, which is good. Now, here's what I want you guys to see. So, Orico drive, Samsung T5 drive. Here's a Lexar drive, Lexar and a Samsung. Very close in size, just so you guys can see. And last but not least, here's that new A Data drive that I just got. So look how small this is. It's like, it's not even, I wouldn't even say it's half the size of the Samsung T5. Like, it's so tiny. These two are almost identical in size. Now, the big thing with the A Data, it is a little bit of an older drive for sure, but speed wise, definitely the slowest. 
we got just under 400 megabytes. I always say it wrong. Megabytes per second. Uh, this one we got close to the 500 megabytes. This one we got just over 500 megabytes. And this one we don't know. So now the A data for a positive, just so you guys, this is what they consider a durable. So it is like, uh, I can't remember, IPX7 rated or something like that for like dust and waterproof. So that's, that's kind of nice. But I'm really concerned and I love how small this is. So we're gonna bring over my computer here. Bring that down here, you guys can see this. And we've got this fella. And we're taking the, we're going USB-C to USB-C because we can't. I don't need to use an adapter. Nope, no adapter needed. That is so lovely. All right, so we're gonna get rid of all this. Close down whatever we can because we don't, we don't need that stuff. And everything's sort of good. We just, again, wanna make sure everything's empty, empty, empty. Give this computer as much chance as possible for getting the speed it needs and plugging that in. Oh, I love that already. I already love it. We're going in here, plug, and should show up on the drive. Desktop, come on, there it is. And it comes up as IV300. Now, as always, we're gonna check to see what it is formatted F. And this one as well, formatted as an NT file system. So that's not working for us. We are gonna have to format that for our Mac. And we are gonna take that and format it as, just so you guys can see this, as a XFAT so that it's compatible on both Windows and Mac. Erase, should be nice and fast, duck, duck, duck. And we're done. Excellent, because if not, again, just so you guys know, if you haven't heard me say this before, NTFS works great on Windows, sure, but has a lot of limitations on a Mac. And the big limitation is that Macs can read the files on it, but it can't write to the drive at all. So that's gonna cause all kinds of problems. So we've formatted this as EXFAT, which is compatible on both Windows and Mac. You can also do it as just the Mac format, but then Windows will have an issue with it. All right, so we got this up here. We are gonna bring up good old Blackmagic speed test. Here we go. File, pick that drive. There it is, open. All right, simple thing is if we can get over 600, I'm gonna be super happy because none of my drives can perform like that. Here we go. Almost, almost 900. Look at that, 892 for write, read. There we go, read, 924. Right, come on. It's still getting close. It's getting close to that 900, 876, read, 924. That's pretty constant. So, you will see, and again, this is important for those of us that are gonna be using this for editing. If you look down here on the screen, you're pretty much, now my older drives, I say like the T5 and stuff like that, which is the fastest of the other ones. Um, I could get ProRes 422 HQ in 2160, sure. But I couldn't get DNG RAW and I couldn't get this one. Now I can't get this one either, but 10 bit here on the other drives was way up here. So I'm across the board on all of these. Yeah, it's fast. It's, it's definitely the fastest drive external solid state drive that I have without question. And it's the smallest. You could you could pocket that, you could, if you had to work with somebody somewhere else, you could courier this, because and it wouldn't cost you much because it's so tiny. I That's fantastic, I love that. I'd, I'd get more of those. Now, the only thing I wish is that I had a terabyte version of that. A terabyte version of that would be fantastic. But yeah, thousand, I don't, I don't see it, but the packaging says 940, right? Packaging says 940. So that's closer to accurate because I'm getting in and around 920. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Okay guys, that's it. Speed test, first look at the Oroco. And I don't know how to say it. IV 300, 4300, 4300? I don't know. 500 gig, portable SSD, yeah. That's awesome. 
I'm gonna put links down below if you guys are looking for like the smallest and one of the fastest little portable SSDs out there. That's that's a little bit of all right. Oh yeah. All right, my friends, I'm gonna leave you there. Links down below if you guys are interested. Pick one up. If you pick anything up with the links down below through the Amazon links, it doesn't even matter. Use a link to get to Amazon. Buy something else. Buy, buy socks, because we all need socks. Buy a winter sweater. Winter's coming. Doesn't matter. Soup. Get some soup. It supports the channel, and it's highly, highly appreciated, because it helps us spend the time and get all this stuff for you guys. All right, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Get on down there. Hit the little bell because that's cool, and uh, we'll see you guys next video. Later. Oracle. Who would have thought? I didn't even know. Didn't even know who they were. No. Nope.